Hello my Raising Wellness Beauties and welcome to a new video here on the Raising Wellness channel. I want to apologize if you hear any walking or scampering in the background. That's Nemo. She's here with me today. And I want to talk to you guys about my MBSR course. So it's an eight week program. It, MBSR stands for Mindfulness Based Stress Reduction. And MBSR is really helpful for you know bringing mindfulness to stress whether it's acute or chronic stress in your life and it's actually a really interesting course and I just wanted to share it with you guys maybe some of you would like to find a course near you or maybe you are just interested in mindfulness from all different areas I know we cover so many meditations on this channel and mindfulness is a really big part of that and a lot of the practices that I teach you guys stem from this program as well as my past experiences with meditation and vipassana and all that kind of good stuff so MBSR <clears throat> was started by John Kabat-Zinn in the 1970s um, in hospitals up in Massachusetts. So he has a PhD from the university or he and he works in the University of Massachusetts and he really wanted to bring mindfulness to a lot of these people that had chronic illnesses. Um, having a you know, not an ending point to when their illness was going to stop or get better, really created a lot of stress in these people's lives. So he wanted to figure out a way to give them a way to de-stress, a way to rewire the brain, a way to calm down the system. Because when you're in high levels of stress all the time, your body is constantly using the adrenal system, constantly pumping in cortisol into the system, and that over time really degrades the physicality of your body and also your mental capacity and emotional response. So he wanted to create this practice to help bring mindfulness to people who have chronic or acute stressors. And it's been a really enlightening experience. Um, I want to share a quote with you from him that is on the home practice manual here that we get for class. And it says, mindfulness is about being fully awake in our lives. It is about perceiving the exquisite vividness of each moment. We feel more alive. We also gain immediate access to our own powerful inner resources for insight, transformation, and healing. And so what exactly is MBSR? What exactly do we do? And what it does is it brings awareness to the mind through all your different senses. It really helps to cultivate that presence in yourself and that ability to observe. So in a lot of the meditations on this channel, we talk about observing the breath. Practice cultivating that presence with your breath. Being able to observe the breath more fully so that when different thoughts or emotions come up, you can observe them as well because you've practiced observing the breath, staying centered in the mind while observing the breath. And so what we use in the MBSR course, is they teach you body scanning, so full body scan all the way from the toes to the crown of your head. Also more formal sitting meditations and light yoga, hatha yoga, gentle, gentle movements. You know, the first time that I took the class, I'm used to going to power yoga classes, and maybe you guys are used to going to you know regular yoga classes at a studio, but it was interesting because we did bridge, which is when you have your back on the floor, I just went out of frame, when you have your back on the floor and your feet are on the floor, and you just lift up from the hips, pushing off the floor with the tops of your shoulder blades and off the heels of your feet. And usually in class, you know, we'll pretend this is the floor and this is my butt and my back here. Usually I can go like this, but when we brought mindfulness to the practice, I realized that my body only really wanted to go this far up, and I thought that was really interesting to see how much the ego can make us push a little bit harder in classes than what our body actually needs or wants or is serving it. So that was really cool to see, to just start with that beginner's mind again and bring full awareness to the body rather than 
feeling like you need to push or pull or achieve a certain pose or achieve this space in your meditation. It's really about bringing you back to being mindful of your body and being non-judgmentally aware and okay of what's happening in the body. Whether it's pain or whether it's pleasure or you know whether it's a neutral feeling just having no judgment throughout the whole spectrum of emotions that you can have during a body scan or a formal meditation or gentle mindful yoga and i actually saw a lot of parallels between my vipassana course and also the one of my favorite favorite books which i will link down below because i share that book with every single person that ever wants to talk about mindfulness or meditation or is going through a transformation in their life and that is the untethered soul by michael singer it's my favorite book of all time you might have heard of it but i will link it down below if you're interested in looking at it getting some snippets and the reason that I see the parallels between Vipassana and the Untethered Soul and then MBSR is because there's this idea of resistance and um, non-resistance. Because with resistance, what MBSR teaches us is that in having that resistance, you are creating more suffering for yourself. You know, you're either ignoring it and creating more suffering because it's being ignored, um, pushing it away, creating more suffering because you're constantly trying to push something away. So in creating that resistance toward anything that happens in your life, good, bad, ugly, sad, whatever it is, is creating more suffering. So by mindfully being able to observe it, then you'll be able to work through it more fully, more fully understand the intricacies of whatever the situation, event, emotion is, and be able to move through it and do so by you know bringing it into your life rather than resisting it and move through it learning all the lessons that it's supposed to teach you and in vipassana practice it's really you're sitting still 10 hours a day if you're on a retreat sorry about that my camera died and i decided that i wanted to wear this really cool hat so as i was saying if you're in Vipassana practice, you're sitting for 10 hours a day for 10 days straight um, if you're at a retreat and what you're doing in that time is scanning the body but practicing non-resistance, observing whatever comes up, you know, any pain, any sensation, any pleasure, any tingling, any tickling, any warmth or coolness, you're observing every single sensation and, and watching it kind of um, pop up and fall away and transform and I really see that a lot with what we're doing with MBSR is just getting into the root of things there's so many times in our lives where something happens and we we grab onto it want to hold on to it for so long and never let it go away or something happens and we want to push it away and push it away and never um, look at it again we want to resist it and keep it as far away from us as possible because it brings up feelings of anxiety or fear or whatnot and mindfulness is really about being able to non-judgmentally and non-judgmentally observe with a equanimous mindset a mindset that can stay still and steady no matter what arises and i think that's really interesting and something that we need to teach more of and i want to teach more of that to you guys in all the meditations and the different things that we talk about on this channel and I know that this video is like really different than what I typically do I usually have things I want to say and write them down this specifically what I want to say and I just really wanted this to be like an open conversation so if you have questions or anything like that or um, you have any insights on mindfulness through your meditation practice feel free to create a dialogue in the comments down below a, a big thing that's in MBSR is this circle of awareness and so whatever it is, this point right here in the middle, whatever like thought or event or situation, whatever it is, that's this center X right here and then above it is going to be thoughts and emotions and body sensations and behavior. So thoughts, emotions, body sensations, behavior and this is the thing in the middle that occurred. So essentially what you're doing with 
so far, classes one through four, this is how I understand MBSR, is you're gonna see that event and then you're gonna observe like what thoughts come up because of it, what um, emotions come up because of it, what body sensations come up because of it, and then what behavior do you do? What action do you take because of that? And it really helps you break down habits that you've had for so long or you know those autopilot kind of reactions that you've had for so long and allows you to see is this serving me? Is this not serving me? Um, and I think it, it, it more easily helps you to let go of what's no longer serving you and also to start creating habits that are serving you. And I think that's what's really cool to me so far about MBSR. It teaches you to do this both formally, so those body scans or like sitting down meditation and informally like when you're walking to your car, when you're sitting in the grocery line, um, well standing, hopefully you're not sitting in the grocery line, <laughs> um, you know when you're walking your dog when you're making dinner, when you're eating, so those informal practices to bring a little bit more mindfulness and awareness into your daily life so you can see those habits and those autopilot things that you have in your life. And throughout this course, I don't know if it's the Aquarius energy that's going around this season or, you know, it's it's the actual practices, but I had a really big moment in meditation last week and it's been this thing that keeps popping up and I want to share this with you guys candidly because you know just because I meditate and practice mindfulness doesn't mean that I'm like healed and perfect and wonderful and have everything together because it doesn't mean that at all and I want to share this with you I did share it like immediately after it happened in the raising wellness community so join that if you want to like get in depth stuff, personal life, and you know, one-on-one -on -one time with everyone in the community, but I was meditating, and it was a meditation on thoughts, so we've been going, we did the body scans, we got really good at that, we did um, breath awareness, got really good at that, and now we're moving into using that same awareness that we use for our breath, and using it to observe thoughts and emotions, so MBSR moves you really um, smoothly through these different levels of training your mind, which is awesome. Um, but I was doing the meditation on thoughts and I've been having a lot of like anxiety and and a lot of those darker emotions that came with my depression a few years ago they've been popping up on like once or twice a month like I'll just have a day where it's like oh oh my gosh what's happening why do I feel this way and through that meditation I was able to observe okay what what's that thought like what is that feeling that emotion that I'm having and it was a lot to do with like restlessness and anxiety and I was like okay what is restlessness and anxiety um, feel like and it felt like unworthiness and then I thought about unworthiness and I was like okay what thoughts or emotions or body sensations come up because of the feeling of unworthiness and it just kind of like pulled me down slowly into remembering all of these these things that had occurred in my life and I didn't have like a hard childhood you know I had a good family we had money at the time before 2008 got crazy weird um, and so I didn't have a bad childhood but I was I'm a highly emotional person so little things triggered me and it brought me to this it brought me through the bullying that occurred with me in middle school and high school and the internal bullying that occurred in middle school and high school and then I just kept asking the question okay why did I feel that way during those bullying things like why did I let that get to me what thoughts were rooted further down that made me feel that way I hope this is making sense um, <clears throat> And it brought me to an exact moment, and in my head, I was originally like, oh, that's nothing. Like, that's just a memory. That doesn't have anything to do with what I'm thinking about right now. It was as if my mind had created, like, a shield around that that memory, that moment. That looks really weird. Does this look really weird? <laughs> Those are my opposite hands. Um, sorry. Squirrel. Um, but I noticed that this memory was at the dinner table 
and it was a, I don't know what I did, like I was a pretty good kid. My sister was the one who's the instigator, Shannon, you know, and always getting into trouble and stuff like that. And I don't know what the heck I did, but my mom looked at me and she was like, I'm starting not to love you anymore. And it was obviously just like a bad day. Like there was three of us. My mom was angry about something and I'm sure she didn't mean it, but it triggered me so much. And I remember running into my bedroom. I had a little teeny journal. It's still the only entry that's in that journal, Sunflower Little Diary. And it said in like six or seven year old handwriting, my mom said she's starting to not love me anymore. And I watched this memory like unfold and these emotions unfold and I just like had this upwelling of crying and I just started crying in my meditation but it was um, more of a release than it was like a sadness which I think that that's really interesting that mindfulness can bring you into this space and allow you to see path, things that have happened that maybe you have guided from guided your whole life from since then in the surrender experiment and in the untethered soul he talks about how we form ourselves into these like boxes from past experience that we didn't like you know things we were resisting again that element of resistance rather than just letting everything flow and go and just observing it and it's real it's cool because it allowed me to see what little box I had been putting myself in, always trying to make sure, always trying to make myself feel worthy, always trying to gather love and support from people, and not in like a pulling, yanking, like sucking kind of way, but like just, just as like a healing kind of way, and I thought that that was really enlightening to see, so in sharing this information with you guys. I hope it helps you understand like how powerful mindfulness can be, how powerful your meditation practice can be if you keep with it consistently. And I'm going to link the, um, I'm going to find a website for you guys that has like courses for MBSR if you're interested in taking the eight week course. Um, I'm taking the one in Florida with the Florida Mindfulness Center, so I'll link that down below too. Um, but let me know what you guys, your thoughts are. This video is kind of like not planned all over the place. I just wanted to like get my thoughts out to you about mindfulness and meditation and how powerful these teachings are and this practice is. And um, I'm going to put those links down below. I'm going to link the book down below. I have to run off to work and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, put some comments down below, maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about meditation, mindfulness, be on this journey with the Raising Wellness Collective. We have gone up almost over a hundred subscribers on this channel which is really exciting and we are almost at 45 people on the Raising Wellness community over on Facebook so it's really exciting to see you guys tapping in more deeply, really aligning with your self-healing, self-love, and self-growth journey here in 2019. I have to run, but I love you guys. Don't forget to like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude as always, and I'll see you next time.